CompTIA A Plus Core 2, 220-1102, Practice Exam. Questions 31 through 35. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 31. During the implementation of a new customer relationship management system, unexpected issues arise related to data synchronization between departments, affecting multiple functionalities. In this context, what term best describes the extent of these issues? The answer is A. Scope. Scope and change management encompasses the extent of the issues encountered including the affected systems, activities, objectives, and deliverables associated with a specific change. It outlines what falls within the purview of the change and what remains outside its boundaries. Question 32. A technician recently set up a new workstation with Windows 10. Despite installing 8 GB of RAM, only 4 GB is being recognized by the OS. What is the most probable explanation for this issue? The answer is B. The system is running a 32-bit OS. A 32-bit operating system, such as Windows 10 32-bit, can only address a maximum of 4 GB of RAM. This limitation is due to the binary nature of the 32-bit architecture, resulting in a total addressable memory space of 4 GB. Therefore, even if more than 4 GB of RAM is installed in the system, a 32-bit OS can only utilize up to 4 GB resulting in the remaining RAM being unrecognized or invisible to the system. Additionally, a small portion of this 4GB address space is reserved for system hardware, so even less will be considered usable. Question 33. While attending a conference at a convention center, a participant attempts to connect to the public Wi-Fi network. However, they notice several Wi-Fi networks with similar SSIDs, making it challenging to discern the legitimate one. Which of the following social engineering tactics is likely being employed in this scenario? The answer is A. Evil Twin. An evil twin attack involves the creation of a malicious Wi-Fi access point that impersonates a legitimate network. Attackers set up a Wi-Fi network with a name similar to that of a trusted network. Unsuspecting users connect to this fake network thinking it's legitimate, and unknowingly expose their sensitive information to the attacker. The attacker can then intercept and manipulate the user's network traffic, potentially capturing login credentials, financial information, or other personal data. Question 34. A user attempts to boot up their computer but encounters an error message stating, no OS found. The technician investigates the issue and discovers that the system had posted a smart error a few days earlier. What is the most likely reason the system firmware is unable to locate the OS? The answer is C. Drive failure. Smart error messages provide warnings about a hard drive's condition, signaling potential problems such as bad sectors, impending failure, or data corruption. If the drive storing the operating system files experiences issues and fails, the system firmware cannot retrieve the required files during boot up. Consequently, users will likely encounter the no OS found error message. Question 35. Which of the following is used in change management to outline potential problems that might arise when a change is made to a production environment? The answer is D. Risk analysis. In the context of change management, risk analysis involves assessing potential problems or hazards that could arise during the implementation of a change. This process identifies and evaluates factors that may impact the success of the change, such as technical challenges, resource limitations, or unforeseen complications. By conducting risk analysis, organizations can anticipate and prepare for potential obstacles, allowing them to mitigate risks and increase the likelihood of successful change implementation. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. 
Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.